Greetings, my friends, and welcome to Trizity Traveling. I'm your host, John, and today I have an inaugural flight from Atlanta to Boise. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to take a direct flight from Atlanta to Boise. This flight was announced, and then COVID happened, and I was paused. I had intended to be on the inaugural version of this flight, but of course, things didn't work out that way. This is 2021, and this is the first time I've taken this flight. But before we get to the trip report, I hope you'll take a second to click the subscribe button, hit the reminder bell, and you'll be notified of future content. We are on a A320 by Delta Airlines, as I mentioned. I am sitting in the back. At this time, Delta is still blocking seats, so I figured first class is kind of meh right now. If I sit in the back, there won't be anybody in the middle seat. So eh, at least I will have a seat and a half to myself. And it turns out there was nobody in my row, so I had three seats all to myself. I've just arrived from Huntsville, Alabama on a CRJ900 with no service. So first stop today, I'm going to go to the Mustard Seed Cafe, which is a barbecue restaurant in Terminal D. Check it out. And then we'll head over to the Delta Sky Club to kill the rest of our, I believe, about a four hour layover before the five hour flight. So turns out to be a pretty long day, but fairly enjoyable as well. So let's check it out. I ran across the mustard seed on my way to Huntsville, Alabama. On my way back from Huntsville, it sounded like really, really good stuff. And since I was arriving in the D concourse, it made it a natural stop for me. I ended up with a two meat combo plate, minus the bread to make it gluten free. Brisket with pulled pork. I must say I preferred the brisket over the pulled pork. I have about a four hour layover. Since I used up part of it at the Mustard Seed Cafe, I will use the rest of it up at the Delta Sky Club in Concourse B, where my flight is departing from. IT malfunction. Welcome to the plane train. Next stop, the B gates. First time I've been to the Delta Sky Club in the B concourse, so I wasn't exactly sure where it was. And somewhat serendipitous, I took a right and there it was. This Sky Club is on the second level, as you can see. I have a feeling it was recently renovated. I was surprised to see a massive Sky Club, not like the two Sky Clubs that I was visiting on the way to Alabama. Large bar. Small business center. Everything in the Sky Club is duplicated on the left and the right side, including the food options. Prepackaged food for your safety. Butternut squash with curry for one soup offering. I grabbed some carrots and hummus for later. And on the other side, tomato basil soup. along with a chilled case of pre-made sandwiches and salads. Soda machines were closed down for some reason. But they have the fancy coffee machines that I love and my standard double espresso. After five button pushes. Found a corner with a good view of the ramp me to do a couple time-lapse videos while I was waiting. You can see the Renaissance in the center of that frame. I don't know how you feel, but I find public speakerphone used to be incredibly rude, and I don't understand why people continue to do it. Everywhere I go, people are doing it. I don't get it. 
down to gate B10 and boarding from the back. I'm in row 25 today. Row 25 to 30. seat. So the policy is that you must wear your face mask, over your nose and mouth, throughout the entire flight unless you're actively eating or drinking. If you do forget body tennis, we'll remind, we remind you. This A320 has been remodeled with seatback screens, one of my favorite amenities on a flight. And because I did board early, being in the back of the airplane, I had a chance to look at the in-flight entertainment options. Lots of movies. Some live TV. As well as some TV shows. And through the end of April, seats will be blocked on Delta Airlines flights, so I knew there would be no single serving friend in the center seat, making it a fairly roomy flight. Two power plugs in each row. I started watching The Gentleman before the flight took off, which was kind of cool. Located in an overhead compartment above each window exit, which can be used to assist in a water evacuation onto the wing. In the event of Taxiing out past the Sky Team 737, the TOC hangar. Without much delay, we are off to Boise. If you need Wi-Fi to do business or work on your laptop computer or something like that, Wi-Fi is available for purchase. Frequent travelers may select the subscription plan. A browse pass starts at six bucks and a stream pass starts at 10 bucks. Interesting that there are no day passes available any longer, or at least they weren't on this particular flight. Snack bags handed out shortly after departure with a couple of gluten filled snacks. But as I mentioned, I brought carrots and hummus from the Sky Club. I was served before the flight attendants were asked to sit due to turbulence or chop or whatever you want to call this. Passing Hayes, Kansas, and I know that because I have it on the moving map. Eventually the turbulence did settle down and the flight was pretty sedate from then on. My favorite, the Avgeek Double. Since no one's in the middle, I get the middle screen. And watch another movie, Spider-Man Far From Home on the second screen. About an hour from landing, another snack bag was passed out, again with gluten-filled snacks. Followed quickly by the flight attendants picking up the garbage, getting ready to land in a foggy and kind of yucky weather Boise. Thumbs up go today to no single serving friend and an entire row to myself. Also give a thumbs up to a non-stop flight from Atlanta to home. That's a pretty big deal for me. Thumbs down today for people talking on their phone. Before we departed, a young man was having a, I don't know, a breakup or a get together or trying to get back together with his girlfriend, which the entire plane enjoyed roughly five minutes of. I considered recording it and providing it for your listening pleasure, but it's really, really uncomfortable. And please don't use your speakerphone in public. 
made it back home from Huntsville, Alabama. Hopefully you've watched the Rocket Center and enjoyed that as well. Next up is spring break in Texas. If you have any questions or comments about flying with Delta Airlines, flying on this A320 with its seat back screens, please post those below. As we roll up into the gate, one thing to remember, if you're sitting in the back, you might get on first right now, but you're gonna be about the last people off the plane, which is kind of a bummer. But I got the entire road to myself, so that's worth it. With that, I'll bring this trip report to an end and wish you and yours safe and happy travels. See you later.